Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, I am Najwa Ziyadati Haruna from Junior High School to Chittis The honorable judges and friends Today I would like to tell you a maid from Sherpa Have you ever heard a maid? This is the most spectacular maid in the modern life until now The maid is Niroro Kidul And this is the story Once upon a time there was a beautiful princess named Kadita Because of her beauty she was called Dewi Srengenge Which means the beautiful sun Her father was King Mundi Wangi Although he had a beautiful doctor, he was unhappy. Do you know why? Because he always expected to have a son. The king decided to marry Dewi Mutiara, and he had a son from her. He was very happy. But Dewi Mutiara wanted her son to become a king in the future. So, Dewi Tiara asking Munding Wangi to send away his doctor. Good evening, my majesty. I have a special request and I really hope you can fulfill it. Can you please send away Princess Kadita? I believe she will be hard to toward a star in the future. Beg Dewi Mutiara. Of course. The king did not agree. It is ridiculous. I will not allow anybody to do such cruel cool thing to my doctor. What an effigy man! King Munding Wangi became very angry. My well, apologies, my majesty. I was just saying things. Although Dewi Tiara said that, however, Dewi Tiara did not stop her evil intention. At night, Dewi Tiara slipped away from the palace to meet an evil magician named Nehne Jahil. And she said, Nenek Jahil, come here. I want you to do something to Princess Kadita. May her body full of scabies and itch. Hmm, she will like it, her like me. <laughs> Ask Nenek Jahil. Hmm, no, 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 no. I don't think that is necessary. Just made her sober, sober, so bad. And if you succeed, I will pay you with a lot of money. Nene Jahil agreed. In the night, Princess Kadita's body has been full with scabies and itch. When she woke up, she found her body was smell stinky. And she spontaneously screamed. Oh no! Oh my body! Oh no! The beautiful princess cried and did not know what to do. When the king heard, he was very sad. He invited many physicians to cure his doctor illness. One day, Dewi Mutiara said to the king, My majesty, talking about Kadita's illness, I heard from people that she is being cursed. It could be right, my majesty, how poor Kadita is. Don't you think she will bring bad luck for our kingdom? I beg you, I beg you, my majesty, please send away Kadita for the sake of our kingdom. The king did not want his doctor became a bad rumor in the whole country. Finally, he must agree to send away his only doctor to leave the country. The next morning, the king said to his doctor, 
for the sake of our kingdom. Please leave the kingdom, my doctor. I don't want you bring bad luck for our country. My Majesty, what did you mean? Don't send me away. I'm your own doctor. Please don't send me away. Cried Dewi Kadita. But some soldiers drag away Kadita from the palace. Princess Kadita kept walking and walking away. She prayed to God every day. Dear God, it has been seven nights. I know you can hear my voice. Please help me if I'm worthy of it. After seven nights, she has walked until she came to South Ocean. She looked at the ocean, it is so clear and clear, unlike other ocean which have a blue or green color. She jumped onto the water and swim. Suddenly, when the salt ocean water touched her skin, there was a miracle happened. Her ulcer has gone, and there was no sign that she has ever had a scabies or itch. My illness, my body, and my skin went back to normal. Thank you, thank you God for your kindness. It looks so beautiful and smooth. Since then, Dewi Kadita has a power to rule of the South Ocean and became a fairy called Niroro Kidul, or the Queen of South Ocean who lived forever. From this story, we can learn that we should be kind to everyone even though she is our enemy. Always believe that God has prepared the best for kind people. That's all my story. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.